What's up guys, today we have a comparison request, the iPhone 13 mini versus the iPhone 10. So this is a pretty decent upgrade if you own an iPhone 10 here. Let's go ahead and get started with a quick size comparison here. The 13 mini is definitely uh, much smaller than the 10 uh, by height and they kind of look the same as far as thickness. But um, if you do want a phone that is going to be smaller, you know, feel lighter, uh, then the 13 mini is definitely the way to go. Um, let's go ahead and boot this up. Alright, so we are running a Apple A15 chip, 4 gigs of RAM on the 13 mini. And then we do have on the iPhone 10 the A11 chip with 3 gigs of RAM. And we're in. And we're in on the 10. All right, so we are going to be testing out app speed, uh, RAM management, and we're going to be looking at side-by-side -side steals. Before we do that, let's open up Geekbench, and we can look at our scores here. So both running iOS 15, which is awesome. We can see we almost get a 5,000 score on the multi-core versus the 2,000 score on the 10, so we are getting a pretty big jump in both the single and multi-core here. Open Subway Surf. So pretty nice for 13 mini, slightly faster there. I am noticing that the 13 mini does not have the little jitters uh, when you get into games. Like just a little animation stutters and stuff like that. You kind of notice it. It is an overall smoother device. 13 mini again for YouTube. So to me, it's not super fast, but it is a little bit, it's a little bit faster, but also very much pretty smooth so you're not going to see that animation stutters like you would see on the 10 scrolling pretty much feels the same they're both very smooth that was very close Pretty much a tie there. So the 13 mini does feel overall just a little bit snappier. I don't know. I don't think it's. I really don't think it's that big of a deal. But I will say the smoothness I think definitely is. But we'll keep it going. See if it'll start to lag. The 10 will start to lag once we start you know getting into more applications. Boom. That was kind of a difference there. Nothing crazy, but noticeable. So it seems like with games, we will see a more noticeable difference, but with normal applications, I'm just not seeing like a massive difference. I don't think any normal person would notice that. Alright, so let's go ahead and open PUBG. This is where you will see the biggest difference is with your PUBG. So the graphics you will be able to pretty much max out on the 13 mini. On the iPhone 10, you can't quite max out the graphics, but it still plays fine. It's just not going to be able to max stuff out. We're in on the 13. All right, so here are your graphic settings. All right, so you can see we have smooth, extreme, 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 ultra HD, extreme, but ultra, ultra, no ultra HD. So if you are somebody that is a heavy gamer, you will have much better game performance on the 13 mini here. Now again, your overall gaming experience is going to be definitely better on the 13 mini. But um, it really comes down to do you want a bigger display or smaller display? Yes, no.
But um, game performance is fine on here. Um, as far as the 13 mini, it does feel overall smoother. Like just the swiping, everything just looks smoother and looks better since we can play at higher settings uh, with extreme FPS. So um, that's definitely one thing that the 13 mini will have over the 10 is just be able to play games much better. All right, let's go ahead and check out multitasking here. We'll just open up all the applications again. And we're open on the 13 mini, the 10 close it out. Open on both. And they both closed. Still open on both. Both closed. Open on the mini. PUBG still open. Still open. And the 10 is still, you know, fairly smooth here. It's not like lagging all over the place. So the 13 mini is going to be able to keep, I, I believe it kept like um, two more applications open and the mini or the uh, the 10 closed two applications. And this kind of freaked out. Okay, that's open. Uh, so not bad at all. So the 10 was able to keep up and only closed two uh, applications out. All right, let me go ahead and play you guys. The speakers, both max volume, both stereo speakers. Start with the mini. So the 13 mini definitely sounds a little bit louder and everything just sounds a little bit more crisp. But it's not by much, it's not a dramatic difference. So the 10 does have a very good speaker setup. Yeah, but the 13 mini is definitely hitting a bit harder with the bass and it just a sound a bit crisp and a bit louder so I think the 13 mini speaker uh, did get you know a slight you know upgrade there alright guys let's talk about the cameras on the iPhone 10 you do have a 12 megapixel standard with a 12 megapixel telephoto and then that telephoto does 2x optical zoom 4k 24 30 60 FPS then a 7 megapixel selfie cam that shoots in 1080p so the biggest difference is with the do you want the telephoto or the ultra wide and I think Apple switching to the ultra wide pretty much made sense that is the pretty much the main secondary camera people go to um, so the 13 mini does have a 12 megapixel standard 12 megapixel ultra wide 4k 24 30 60 12 megapixel selfie cam that shoots in 4k 24 25 30 60 and you also have the cinematic mode on the 13 mini as well or you can think of it as portrait video so I'll go ahead and show you those side by side stills let me know what you guys think Here's the 13 mini. We have our ultra wide. Here is the 10. We have our telephoto lens on here.
Alright guys, that is pretty much it. Be sure to let me know what you guys think. Would you upgrade to the $700 uh, 13 Mini? Is it a significant upgrade for you or are you going to stick with your 10? Be sure to let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one.